One other reflex we're going to do is the gallant, which is the incurvation. It's just stimulating one side of the trunk, and the trunk should go towards the stimulus. We're going through the shirt here, which oftentimes is, there we go, and the buttocks, or the, the body moves towards the stimulus. Here's a good strong one. Look at the position of the hand. The hand should be able to open and close, but most of the time it is in a closed state, but not a tight closed state. We can elicit a grasp reflex by again putting the hand right there in the thumb, and again the baby is able to grasp. We can open the hand by stroking the side of the hand, and then just stimulating a grasp reflex just by again putting the hand right there and have a grasp reflex. Okay. Now I'm seeing a good grasp reflex there. This is a good grasp reflex there. In fact, you can simulate the grasp reflex and then lift the baby. If we can get him to be quiet there, you can see he's almost pulling himself up as far as the grasp reflex and able to hold on with that hand. As far as just putting pressure here at the ball of the foot and the toe should come down in a flexion, which he does. And should grass. Let's look over here. And you can see that there's a grass reflex. Measure his head circumference here by doing the greatest occipital frontal circumference. So we need to make sure that we measure right here in the frontal area and then the occipital area. And his head circumference is 35.8 centimeters. Okay, so that's very normal, very 